It's a draft. Yeah. All my friends pulled up for good vibes. We know that the good vibes could be gone to some. We ain't tryna live forever. Just live it up. Baby, I know life's bad. hi guys welcome back to the channel so i'm here in bristol and i'm at the train station it's raining outside i'm super duper hungry so i'm just gonna stop off my very first stop let's just get it going right um at this pastry shop to get some sausages because i can't find greg's here yet <laughs> so yeah let's go grab some sausages and then we'll go to the hotel and then we're gonna start this tour So guys this is the room that i stayed in in bristol it was a nice double room um with expandable sofa bed um not like i needed it this was the wardrobe area with um a mini fridge storage and some towels it had all the basic necessities um the bathroom itself was nice it was a shower bathroom and no bathtub i definitely missed having a bathtub but yeah so guys now i'm walking to the first location which is St. Nicholas Market um, is highly recommended. Everyone says go to St. Nicholas Market for lunch. Um, I know I had sausage earlier, but <laughs> um, let's go get some food and then we'll explore some more. So yeah, let's go. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall So St. Nicholas Market not only has a um, food market but has another section called the covered markets where you can find antiques, jewelry, sweets and some unique items which you see in this vlog. Ah, chupa chips. Reminds me of when I was little. Man, let me tell you something. Lately I've been wondering if you could be <laughs> the South African See, shop in like Bristol. This is so cool. No, you tired of I'm Nigerian. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh wow. Shop looks so cool. It's kind of cute miniature stuff. I need to get myself some lovely earrings. We have the same spices. I'm pretty sure they're the same, but called something else. No, I'm just thinking if there's any Nigerian spice or things that is similar, but I, it's very different. <laughs> All right. The engineer in me is so happy to see all of this old fossils and gems. This ring is beautiful. What the? <gasps> wow. Guys, I'm so sorry about this part of the vlog. But that's because a girl wasn't officially off work. <laughs> Today is Friday. Um, I thought I thought I could wiggle my way out. 
but I had to go do some work so I only just got off work now and most of the places that I actually want to see is closed but that's okay because the main purpose of this trip was actually to go to Bath which I'm going to go to tomorrow but I just wanted to see if I could pop in a few clips of Bristol as well but so far so good um, I enjoyed my salad for, from oh my god I'm panting Whew. I enjoyed my meal from St. Nicholas Market it's so good but guys you've got to see this the view from here is just insane so this is officially our second stop of this Bristol half day tour and that is the Clifton Suspension Bridge everybody here we go So just by the side of the Clifton Suspension Bridge, we've actually got the Clifton Observatory which is like a place where you can dine out but specifically you can go up to get a better view of the city and of the bridge. Yeah, okay guys, let's go across the bridge. I'm after this, I'm gonna go to Brandon Hill Park. Hopefully, walk across that. Um, the, there's a street that had that has colored houses, so I want to go there, take a picture, look around, and then I'm gonna go head up for dinner. It just feels like I came here to my eat. <laughs> okay, guys, catch you in a bit. Brandon Park Hill, Brandon Hill Park, um, and behind me is the tower. I'll show you a better view. Um, it's dark. You can tell the picture quality is already looking weird. Um, apparently, I was mistaken. I wanted to actually go somewhere else. That is actually called the Harbour. That is actually where you see like the colorful houses. But I came here instead wrong but that's okay i'll just take a walk around the park it's just really really like a basic park people. basically there's nothing really special to be honest um the tower is closed apparently you're supposed to climb up the tower and it's free for you to get like a really really nice view of the city but it's closed not because i came late but like it was closed for the whole day today i don't know why well yeah guys um i'm sorry this vlog feels or well, seems a little bit chaotic and like I had nothing planned i did have a whole lot planned it's just that today didn't go according to plan and i just don't want to just cancel on the vlog like that i'm gonna vlog as much as i can and plan for a proper full day or two days to actually visit bristol and show you all the nice things go on the bank banks but you know what i'm talking about banksy art walk tour and all of that good stuff but yeah so far so good Let's keep exploring this park. You had seen it. This is still an amazing view of the city. Even though it's dark, still lovely. Hi, <laughs> right, guys. I'm not still ready to go back to my hotel, so I'm just gonna go walking, exploring more of Bristol in the night. Let's see what we find on this unexpected or unplanned walk. This place looks really stunning. And I'm just curious. I'm gonna go inside just to find out what it is. It's actually a restaurant. Oh 
Guys, I'm not gonna do that. I think they're having like a party or something. Okay, guys, I found the cathedral. I know it's night, so I obviously can't go in. But I'm actually enjoying this spontaneous walk. Just beside it, we've got the town hall. I'm just gonna step aside real quick so that this car doesn't hit me. So this is a town hall, nothing special. But it looks like it's got some sort of crescent. If you get what I mean, like, can you see that? Uh, it's actually really nice and then you can walk across the bridge which I'm gonna do just now <laughs> but yeah really nice so apparently guys this is like the water side um i think it's actually called harbor side and it's got a bunch of restaurants by the water side it looks so beautiful at night i wonder what it also looks like during the day and they've got something similar to the london eye <sighs> really cool really cool place and then on this bridge let me see if i can zoom in a bit but guys they basically have locks on it what is not as much as you'd see um on the bridge in paris but yeah it's such a stunning view at night anyway i'm walking out now to the restaurant where i'm gonna have dinner my battery i don't know if you guys can even still see me my battery is like three percent so my phone might die when i get to the restaurant in any case if i still have battery i will show you what i'm having for dinner and we were having dinner else i will see you tomorrow when we head out to bath all right guys toodles you may think that i know too much but now it's never too much Yes, this is fine. I'm doing something different. Your name's been on my tongue. My cup's been looking for You're picking by my Good morning, guys. So, I just got up. I was so tired yesterday. And yes, my phone died when we did. Um, finally go out for dinner so I don't have any footage or pictures of that anyway I'm just having breakfast now and after that I'm gonna head out to bar alright guys catch you in a bit bye <sighs> so guys this morning before leaving Bristol I decided to get to the famous colorful buildings in Bristol since I couldn't see any art I didn't want to leave without coming here and trust me it was a whole mess getting here but i'm here now and it looks so beautiful i'm glad i see it in person and i'll show you in a second take some pictures and i'll go ahead or catch my train to bath i'm out of breath because i literally ran down here but yeah that's it I'm back again so I'm here live in Bath I um, made it but I am a full-on 35 minutes late and I had a booking to go see the Roman bath so right now fingers crossed that they actually let me get in else I'll we'll just go and see other places well so far so good place looks nice it looks doesn't have that modern feel like I see a lot of old buildings but it just it just feels really lovely and i'll show you around real quick and i can barely look at you and every single time i need you oh wow so beautiful 
<gasps> Sorry, no, that's okay. <laughs> it has this whole Roman vibe to it. Oh, I love it. And here we are, the Roman bath. I can't wait to actually go inside. And just outside of it is the Bath Abbey. We'll be, out, we'll be back here. Let's just go inside and see if we can get in. This is amazing. You need to get the audio guide. So guys, you do have to use your face mask when you're in here. Um, it, I didn't come with one, so they gave me one. Anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy the tour now. And then I'll show you guys a few cool stuff when I say but I do want to enjoy myself because I paid for it so yeah talk to you guys later guys the bath was amazing i loved every second of being in there i made so many took so many clips i don't even know how i'm going to edit it and show you but this is one of the places that you have to visit i've never been to rome and i've always been fascinated by rome so this was very exciting for me right now i'm going to go to the abbey which is just by the side of the bath i showed you guys earlier um, that was just by the side so I'm just gonna go there have a look and yeah once I'm done from there I'm gonna go get myself some Sally Lawn however I know that Sally Lawns might be fully packed or booked and again not books because you don't have to book for Sally Lawns buns but we'll see how it goes all right all right guys catch you let us go now to the Bath Abbey I'm sick of daydreaming I just want the feeling of you in my bed I'm down at this waistline Right below your waistline Want you by my head I'm done with all this FaceTime Need some alone time, baby You're always running in my mind I'm sick of daydreaming I just want the feeling of you in my bed Time alone, give you my hoodie just so you can smell my cologne. I'm just thrilled by the detailing in the stained glass. Like, look at this stained glass behind me. Um, okay, out of focus, but <laughs> um, you guys will obviously see the clip. But it's just really stunning. I just, I just really, really love buildings like this. I don't know why. It's very common in Europe and pretty much most of the places I visited in the UK have buildings that look like this. Um, you can also do a tour 
to the tower to get like a really nice view of the city but that costs I think 10 pounds and I'm trying to really not spend anything to do everything free on this trip so I'm going to be skipping that I already spent about 22 50 to go to the um, bath so not spending any more except I need to eat speaking of eating right now we're gonna go to Salilon's eating house and to try her famous Salilon buns so come on guys let's go Guys, let me just show you what the salilon bun looks like. It's basically just bread. Um, and then it's got a hole in the back. Yeah. Oh, it actually has a number of calories, but that's per seven. And I'm guessing this has more than a seven, but it is so soft, like I don't even want to compress it. Um, I decided to come back to the bat bun to come and eat instead because salilon the queue i was not ready i wasn't ready for that queue because yo not doing that plus it was about to start ringing the weather today is just doing its own thing but anyway i'm gonna have lunch like proper lunch not anything i wanted to have afternoon tea like something fancy but i don't know when the waiter comes we'll decide So guys, um, instead of going for the bun, I decided to go for a sandwich, a pulled pork sandwich, just because I already bought this salilon bun and I can always have it at home. I need to be pointy in buying that here. So this is what I'm gonna have. Bun up. Hey guys, I know you cannot hear me because there's so much noise. And that's because I'm at the Pultani Bridge. Let me just show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. Or let me move away from the noise. And I'm gonna go try, I'm going to try to get a much better view. Um, but apparently, whenever I'm showing you, there's going to be a whole lot of noise because it is very noisy, but it is just a sight to behold. So guys, when next you come, I would advise you to stop by in this really cute cafe called The Bridge Coffee. The reason being that you can get really nice views of the bridge from in here. So it's a way, so it's a way to kind of kill two beds with one stone because you get to stay at the bridge and at the same time have lunch. So you spend less time, but unless you're really desperate to try the bathhouse bun or the salilon bun then go for it however i think it's just all right like there's nothing spectacular to me just, just saying all right i'm gonna go down now and to get like another view another angle of the bridge and then we're going to go to the next location
after leaving the bridge i decided to go see some other cool buildings in bath like the circus which is basically just these curved buildings around um this area um called gay street <laughs> funny name right um soon after i left um, the circus i also walked down to another place which is called the royal crescent it is also it also has curved buildings um similar to that of the circus but it's quite popular most of the um tourists that i've seen or that i follow here on youtube do re does recommend that one comes here so after i saw it guys the worst thing happened to me my phone died so basically that was the end of my tour with you guys i continue to explore but i don't have clips to show you so guys that's the end of this vlog i hope you've enjoyed it i know it's not my usual way of vlogging i do apologize um i don't know it was very impromptu this trip and i guess that's why it's like this anyway guys remember to like share and subscribe bye